guys and welcome back. So today I'm doing a cleaning video and it's on one of my neighbor's cars. So I assume they see us cleaning our cars all the time, every day, and uh, they decided they would ask us if we would do theirs. And of course, I just want to make content for you guys and uh, it's nice to do a different car. It's a really, really nice car and I'm just going to do the exterior. I might give the inside a quick little hoover. So I'm just going to get started into the BMW X3 now and show you guys some before and after shots as always. So let's just get started into the video. And in this bottle is Billet APC. I thought it would be a good idea to use the APC as almost a pre-wash to take any loose dirt off before I go ahead and do my other steps. So after rinsing the car down, you will see there are quite a few tar marks on the car, so I'm going to have to get rid of those. Although before that, I'm going to use some fallout remover on the paintwork first. Yes, I agree, it is a pathetic trigger. So now it is time to tackle the tar marks on the paintwork. Of course, I forgot to bring my tar and glue remover up with me and reluctantly I had to go to the petrol station across the road and get some Autoglim tar and glue remover, which I'm not a big fan of. So this part took some time, as you can see there's quite a lot of tar. Um, but yeah, I done the rest off camera and the results speak for themselves. And there's also some tar on the back which I'll need to get off. And I'm going to use the tar and glue remover to remove the flies off the front as I didn't bring any bug spray or anything with me, but it'll do the job. So I have removed most, if not all, the tar and I'm going to go ahead with the wash process and I'm going to start off with some snow foam. snow foam off and it's looking really 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 clean and I'm going to now give it a wash and I think for shampoo I'm going to use the Illusion Elimination pH Neutral Auto Shampoo My friends Quinn and McCloskey both came up and they give me a hand with the paint glaze and the waxing bit. 
Now, Quinn and McCloskey are both valors uh, slash detailers. They work for uh, car dealerships. So this is something they do every day and they are quite quick at it. And by the time I was getting around to videoing it, they had the two steps done. So yeah, this is the vinyl results. So off camera I went ahead and done the black trims and I dressed them with Duncan Biscuits all trim dressing and it's actually really nice. I wasn't too sure what I would think of it but I did enjoy using it. Then I went ahead and done the glass with the Auto Finesse glass ceramic spray and it is really good, really easy to use. And then my favourite bit of all, cleaning all the little shiny bits and making them sparkle as much as I can. I just love doing that so much. And I also took it upon myself to give um, the exhaust tip a coat of auto sol and clean it up a little bit. It was quite rough and now look at it, it is sparkling. There was no beating on the X3 at all, but the boat wax will definitely help give that long lasting protection for someone who isn't really into cleaning their car or getting it detailed every so often or applying those sort of products. So then I went ahead and used some autosol on the front grille. There was also quite a few makeup stains on this car, um, but it did take quite a lot of dressing to cover it and to take whatever I could off. There was also a little mark on the petrol cap, which came off with some polish. And I just give it a little quick hoover, like a really quick hoover. So guys, that just brings us to the end of the video. I will list all the products below that I used. Some of them you've seen, some of them you didn't see. Um, but I started off obviously by pre-washing the car. And then I went ahead and put some fallout remover on. Um, I know you're supposed to do it after, but I wanted to get as much fallout off as I could because I knew there was a lot of dirt on the car. If it had been one of my own cars, I would have done the fallout remover after the wash stage. And then I used the tar remover as there was so much tar on the X3. And it all came off. It did take me a good near hour, I'm sure, to get it off. Um, and I was using the auto glim tar remover, which isn't great, but it did come off and it looks a lot better. Then I used the Auto Finesse Bubblegum Avalanche Snow Foam. Then I went ahead and washed it and I used the Illusion uh, Shampoo. And then obviously rinsed it off and dried the car with my Auto Glim drying towel, which I really do like. It's a mixture between a microfiber and a drying towel and a chamois all in one. Um, I really do like that. And then Quinn and McCloskey came up and they helped me with the Ultra Glaze by Auto Finesse to help uh, get the paintwork to look glossy. And then we used the boat wax that you guys have heard me rant on about for ages, which is the BWM boat wax. I love that stuff. It will leave a really good coating on this car. Considering the person who owns this car isn't really into their cars, they like to get their car washed every week but they're not really into using waxes and stuff, so it'll be a really durable wax. And hopefully that should keep away the tar and stuff and it won't be so hard to wash off the next time. And then I went ahead after using the boat wax and done the glass with the Auto Finesse glass cleaner, which was from the Caramics kit that I used the other day. Um, and I do like that, it is a good product. I haven't tried it, it hasn't rained yet on any of the cars that I have used it on, but we will see how it goes. I think it should be a good product, but it's easy to use, easy to put on, easy to wipe off, which is good on the glass cleaner. Then after that, I went ahead and done the trims with the Duncan Biscuit trim and plastic dressing, which I really do like. I didn't think I would like it. It was only a little sample one that I have, but I will actually purchase that because I do like that a lot. So I've done all the black trims with that. And then I used the Chemical Guys V RP, I think, or VPR um, stuff, which is vinyl rubber and plastic, so it must be VRP. And I used it on the tires because I didn't have any tires in here. 
which was really silly of me not to bring tire shine. And then I give the interior a quick hoover and um, spray some air freshener into it. I've had it since 10 o'clock and it's now 3, so I've been at it quite a while. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of today's video. It's probably the first time I've done a car that isn't mine or isn't one of our friends. I think it came out okay. Um, as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.